Hey, so many agents struggle, not only with picking up the phone, but also at being great on the phone. But you gotta remember, you're never gonna be perfect at something that you don't start. What's that, what, what's the old saying? 10,000 hours to mastery. That's, that's, that's what it's all about. So I'm gonna give you three tips today about how to be great on the phone. Tip number one, agents are typically disagreeable. If you can remember one thing that I say from this entire video and everything I ever put out, it's that you have to be in a state of agreement. The customer's always right. You have to agree with everything they say. It's natural, human nature, to want to disagree with the prospect. So tip number one is all about being agreeable. Well, what do you mean, Cody? Well, if they say, hey, dude, I'm not interested. Perfect, I understand. Then continue and then ask. So tip number one is be agreeable. That'll get you a long way on the phone to getting them to stay on the phone because if you get offended, if you get disagreeable, they're not gonna talk to you. So tip number one is be and stay agreeable the entire time. When you get objections, be agreeable. All right, tip number two is all about assuming and asking. Tip number two is all about the fact that, hey, you need to assume that they want to talk to you. You need to assume that they are going to stay on the phone the entire time. You need to assume that they're gonna answer your questions. You need to assume that they're gonna talk more than you do, and you need to assume that they're gonna do business with you every step of the way. That's one thing that I, can, that I can let on is when I'm on the phone, that person knows the entire 20 minutes or 40 minutes or one hour that I'm on the phone with them, that I'm expecting them to do business today, and that every step of the way is a buildup to them doing business. And so naturally, they kind of expect it along the way so that when I get to the ask, it's not as big of a deal because dude, they, that dude, dude, he expressed that I was gonna do business with him the whole time, all along. So not only are you assuming, but don't forget the ask. That's kind of a combo in tip number two is, is, is assume everything, but also don't forget to ask because most agents forget to ask. If you built the relationship, if you gave them enough information, and if you built value, you have warranted a chance to ask for the business. Don't forget to ask. Most people don't get business because they don't do what? They don't ask. Be confident and expect to do business with every person you talk to, but don't forget to ask, to go for the close, to expect business. All right, tip number three. This was gonna be tough. This one's probably the best one, most valuable one, is record your conversations and listen to yourself later. I know it's embarrassing, I know it's tough, no one likes to listen to themselves, but doing that helped me up my phone game way more. Like for instance, we shoot a lot of video content. I listen and watch videos and shows to find, hey dude, what kind of bad habits do you have? What can you improve at? The same thing can be said for when you're selling a prospect, when you're trying to set an appointment, when you're trying to telesell, record your calls and listen to them later. I promise you, this will be the best thing you ever do. You'll learn so much about yourself. It'll reveal all your bad habits. You'll say, you, you'll learn by listening. Hey, I shouldn't have said that. That was dumb. That was stupid. Oh, that was great. I need to keep doing more of that. And so you'll learn from those recordings what you continue to do and what you need to do to be better at being incredible on the phone. So these are my three tips for getting better at using the telephone, whether it's appointment setting, going out in the field, or over the phone. Agents struggle with the phone. I think that's one of the biggest reasons agents fail and they don't get enough in front of enough prospects because you struggle with the phone. So don't be afraid to pick it up, don't be afraid to record yourself, and don't be afraid to learn and get great at using the telephone.